Hello viewers, here is an Emerson Prine Exhaust VN Category number DD22 This VN complies with commercial standard Now this is being considered an exhaust VN which is kind of confusing to me because if this was mounted like on a wall for instance with the motor facing the inside the interior of the building it looks like it would draw air in unless of course the blade is is on backwards but I think it's going to rotate like this which would draw air upwards towards the motor which in my mind would make it an intake fan but uh, yeah so that's that it looks to be like a 24 inch model just for uh, size reference here is a 20 inch high velocity VN and it's just a hair smaller actually you know what it might not even be 24 inches it might only be 20 inches I'm gonna go get a, a measuring measuring thing and remove all doubt It's a 23 from shroud to shroud, so we'll say blade tip to blade tip is only going to be 22. So it's a 22 inch VN. I thought maybe this could be a potential whole house fan, but it's too small. It's just not going to move enough here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll mount it on like a box or something and turn it into a nice box fan. Do something with it. I wasn't really looking for something like this, but it surfaced for a mere fifteen dollars, and it just seemed too good to pass up. I think it's going to be kind of a noisy fan because the the blades they don't have too much pitch to them. I mean, it's decent, but to really get the air moving, especially for a fan this size, it's uh, it's going to have to go pretty fast. It's a 5 amp shaded pole motor, Emerson electric motor, which is about as top of the line as they get. It says uh, 1075 RPM, which is pretty fast, and uh, 5 amps. Not quite sure what our electrical connection is going to look like here, so let's open up that terminal box and see if we can get a cord put on here unfortunately this is too big for the garage windows otherwise I would take the motor apart turn it around turn the blade around and turn it into what I would consider an actual exhaust fan and use it here in the garage but will fit in the stupid small windows. Actually these windows aren't too stupid, it's the ones upstairs that are kind of stupid. So this is uh, what we have here. The wire is, is old but it's not deteriorated or anything. And this looks pretty clean inside. So let's put a cord on here. This came from the same place that those uh, grimy fans came from recently. That nasty pedestal fan and the, the weird Dayton 12 inch oscillator. And oddly enough, this is probably the cleanest of them all. Although it definitely has that auto shop dust on it. And it probably has a good number of hours to it as well. Although being of such good quality, it's not going to be phased by those hours. Something like this, if kept oiled, could probably run for decades on end and not care. Alright, so we'll just wire this cord up right quick for a test. Make sure it works. I would be shocked if it doesn't.
Now we're just going to go without the ground for now. I'm not going to be handling it while it's plugged in, so I don't think it matters for the test. Okay, so the cord is connected. Uh, I'll just lean it up on the uh, on this pole here, I think, for now. It should be good enough for the test. It's a little flimsy. I just wonder if that part of the support structure is missing or something. It's a nice blade, solid uh, steel hub and everything. Definitely a good quality piece, as Emerson was known for at the time. And they, to this day, they still make fairly decent stuff in terms of uh, motors. Okay, let me get the kilowatt meter out here. Where is the kilowatt meter? Seriously? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. Here we go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take two. Okay, here we go. This time for real. It's actually very quiet. It seems to be in good balance. Yeah, good balance. That's much quieter than I thought it would be. Huh. It's very strong, too. Portable fan or something. Very, very strong. Much stronger than I expected. And much quieter as well. This is a really good fan. You know, on second thought, it probably could fare as a whole house fan. If it wasn't for the living room being so big, I'd say definitely, but I don't know. 
Maybe. The hallway, I think, is only... Oh, gosh, I got so much dust in my eyes. The hallway is... 30... Four inches across, I think. So I can't do a 36 inch fan. I think the only other size that that they came in was was 24. Na oh no, maybe the 30. It might come in 30. So probably I would try to get a 30. But well, anyways, uh, this works. It works very well. I think what I'll probably do is is build a uh, an enclosure for it and uh, make a like a rolling box fan or something. For use in the garage or even outside, you know, keep the bugs away off the deck and so forth.